Hello and welcome to this screencast on reconciliation in OpenRefi. I'm Owen Stevens, and over the course of two videos I will cover the process of reconciliation in OpenRefi by working through an example and examining the tools and processes OpenRefi supports to help you match items in your local data against the same items in an external data source. I'll be using version 2.8 of OpenRefi and the Wikidata Reconciliation Service as of December 2017 for this demonstration. Reconciliation is a method in OpenRefine for matching data you have in an OpenRefine project to data representing the same thing, e.g. the same person, place or organisation, on a remote service. Finding matches between an item in OpenRefine and the same item on the remote service is called reconciling your data. OpenRefine supports a couple of different ways of looking up data on a remote service. As well as reconciliation, you can also use the option to add column by fetching URLs. However, the point about reconciliation is that OpenRefine supports a specific set of methods and workflows aimed at working through a list of values in your local data, matching them against the same items on a remote service, and recording that match in your OpenRefine project. Reconciliation was originally designed to work with a service called Freebase, but then other services also implemented support for OpenRefine reconciliation services. Some parts of the reconciliation process have only ever worked with Freebase, and as Freebase no longer exists, these bits of the reconciliation process are not currently in use. I'll highlight these aspects as we go through the demonstration. In order to use the OpenRefine reconciliation process, the remote data source or service you want to use must support the OpenRefine reconciliation service API. Sometimes the service may support this directly, and in other cases, it may be layered over the service by a third party. For example, Wikidata supports a reconciliation service through a tool developed by Antonin Delpuch, and Jeff Chu has developed a tool which adds support for a reconciliation service to the Virtual International Authority file, also known as VAF, to ORCID, to the Open Library, and to the Solar Search and Indexing engine. To demonstrate reconciliation in OpenRefine, I'm going to use the example of a list of scientific journals published by the American Association of Neurological Surgeons. Firstly, I'm going to import the list of journals into OpenRefine from a tab separated values file. I got this file from a service called KB, which is run by an organisation called JISC in the UK and publishes lists of journals under a CC0 licence. As you can see as I do the import, I have some basic information about the journals, including their titles in this column, uh, and in most cases at least one ISSN, either here or in this column here. Uh, the ISSN is a standard identifier for serial publications. I'm going to try and reconcile these journals against Wikidata, that is, match these journals to the records for the same journals in Wikidata. The first step is to choose the main piece of information that identifies the thing I'm going to reconcile. In this case, I'm going to use the title of the journal, which is in this column, headed Publication Title. If I click the drop-down menu on this column, and then choose Reconcile, and then choose the first option, which is Start Reconciling, I get shown this screen where I can choose what external service or data source I want to reconcile against this list here. In this case, the Wikidata reconciliation service is already listed, but I can always add a new service by clicking the Add Standard Service button at the bottom and then typing or pasting in a URL for the reconciliation service I want to add. That URL would need to be provided by the reconciliation service you want to use. So if I click the service I want to use, OpenRefine will then communicate with the service and try to work out what type of thing I'm trying to reconcile and then make a list of one or more suggestions. The options here are dependent on the types that the external service knows about, so they'll differ across different reconciliation services. I also have at the bottom here the option to specify a particular type, although I'm, it must be one that the service supports, or to reconcile against no particular type if I'm unsure what the right choice is. In this case, I'm going to choose one of the options that I've been offered, which is the scientific journal type. On the right hand side I can pick additional columns that might contain information that will help the reconciliation service match to the correct items on the remote service. In this case I'm going to include both the print identifier and the online identifier columns and indicate that these should match the ISSN property, which Wikidata knows as property P236. As you can see, in this case, as I type, I'm prompted with possible 
properties from Wikidata. This doesn't work for all reconciliation services, and in some cases you may need to check the property names directly on the remote service. So here I can see ISSN and choose that for this option here. Finally on this screen, before I start the reconciliation process, I can see two more options at the bottom here. Every possible match found in the remote service will be allocated a confidence score expressed as a percentage. The closer this is to 100%, the more sure the remote service is that the item it has found is definitely a match for the item in your project. It's not unusual for the reconciliation process to find several potential matches, known as candidates, for each item in Open Refine, and later in this video we'll see how you can select the correct match out of several possible matches. However, for a large data set, working through each potential match individually may be too much work. This is where this option to auto match candidates with high confidence comes in. By checking this box, it means that if the remote service has indicated it, that it is confident it has a match for your item, OpenRefine will automatically reconcile your item against that particular match from the remote service, even if there are other potential matches. The high confidence is something the remote service asserts, and it's not a judgment made by OpenRefine. So whether you, you choose this option may be influenced by how much confidence you have in the remote service to make the right call on matches. Finally, you can also set the uh, maximum number of candidates to return, which I can use to limit the number of candidates returned for each item if I want to make sure I don't get presented with an overwhelming number of options for each item. In this case, I'm going to make sure that the auto match option is checked and leave the maximum number of candidates blank, which means I'll see as many candidates matches as Wikidata provides for each item. Now all the options are set, I'm ready to start the reconciliation process by clicking Start Reconciling. This is the point at which OpenRefine will send my data to the remote service using the Reconciliation Service API. This can take quite a while with large data sets, but in this case with just five rows, it should complete quite quickly. Now I've tried to reconcile the values in the publication title column, you can see the display of this column has changed. Ignoring the first row for a minute, the other four titles appear as blue link text with the message underneath, choose new match. This means that these four rows have been successfully matched to an entity on Wikidata. And that's because I checked the auto match option. And I can also see from this green bar at the top of the column how far the column has been reconciled. And if I mouse over that bar, then it gives me a brief summary of the statistics. 80% have matched, that's the four matched, 0% new and 20% still to be reconciled. I can click the linked title to view the Wikidata entry it's matched to. So here I see the page for the Journal of Neurosurgery on Wikidata, and I can check that for a match. However, the first row, Gamma Knife, does not appear as a link title, and has a list of names underneath it with a single and double tick next to each. This means that the reconciliation service did not return a high confidence match, so OpenRefine didn't auto match this to any entity on Wikidata, but did find several potential matches. I can click on the text of each potential match to view more information on the Wikidata entity it represents. So for example, if I want to see why this first entity, which looks like a good match based on the name alone, hasn't matched automatically, I can click this text Gamma Knife. And once that comes up, I can see that this refers to a medical instrument called a Gamma Knife and not a journal with Gamma Knife as the title. I can also link from here to the full Wikidata entry if I need to see the full Wikidata record. If I decide one of the options listed here is a good match, I have two options to make that match. I can either just match this single cell by clicking this single tick in this column against the right line, or I can make a match for all identical cells, so all cells that contain the, the term gamma knife, by clicking the double check mark. In this case, I don't think any of the listed options are a good match for the journal gamma knife, but I do still have some options. I can search for matches on Wikidata by clicking the search for match at the bottom of the cell here. And if I do that, then it will automatically start to search for Gamma Knife on Wikidata. You can see here that it's returned some other matches for Gamma Knife. This is the one that I already saw, which is the medical instrument. But this is one I haven't looked at. So I can look up this on Wikidata by typing the ID here. But well, I can see here that this is an album, presumably a musical album, and again, not uh, the journal that I want to match to. So at this point, I can either choose the new item option, which is the same as choosing the create new item option from uh, the list here, 
or I can choose don't reconcile cell. The create new item option would ideally create a new Wikidata entity for the journal. However, this is one of the options that was designed to work with the now defunct uh, Freebase service. And so while I can still choose the option, it won't actually do anything at the moment in terms of creating a new item on the remote service. However, I could uh, directly go to Wikidata and create the new entry there and then do the reconciliation again. Usually I'd take one of these actions here, but for the purposes of demonstration, I'll leave this cell alone for the moment. That's the end of the first part of this screencast on reconciliation in OpenRefine. I hope you found it useful. Please come back for the second part where I'll cover the use of facets and actions to help process the reconciliation data you've retrieved from a reconciliation service. I'm Owen Stevens and you can find me on Twitter at ostevens or on the web at ostevens.com. I'm always happy to help people use OpenRefine so please get in touch if you have questions or queries about reconciliation or any other aspects of OpenRefine.